And I always feel really bad when long stretches go by and I haven't done it. But someone asked me to call a friend in a hospital, and I guess I didn't listen really closely as to what had happened to this friend. I just knew, a uh, girl in hospital like TA call. I'm like, this is TA. <laughs> What's going on? Cool bar's an idiot. And I'm like, how you doing? And uh, I'm like, this is Chuck Huber. And she's like, oh, I'm okay. And I'm like, so what happened? Why are you in the hospital? And she goes, well, I guess you've seen the news. And I was like, suddenly I was like, because I had been super goofy before that, yeah, I would do that, I love <laughs> And then she's like, I guess you've seen the news. And I was like, no. And I was like, no, no, what happened? Tell me. And she was like, oh, I was in a mass shooting. I was shot twice and stabbed oh seven gosh. times. And I lost seven of my family members. And I was like, <laughs> oh, man. I was like, you're like Wolverine. <laughs> you're still alive. And then she starts laughing. And I'm like, because I hadn't been, you know, but so we have these moments that we have to, and her family was appreciative because I didn't know and didn't care. And everybody else would probably walked up to her like, we get a lot of experiences of people, uh, soldiers who lost limbs or had cancer and you know, the people who were gonna die and their dying days were spent watching an anime that you were in. And so we get to be in those moments with people and the regular moments where you're just laughing with your friend and watching the anime and oh, that was awesome. Those are important moments too. It's not like, oh, you haven't had something tragic happen to you? I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> um, but so we, you know, meeting all the fans is, is probably one of the best parts. Um, and it's, I always tell parents, there are sometimes parents who are, are reticent about sending their children off to anime conventions. But you know what? We take over entire downtowns. You go to SakuraCon and there's, you know, 30,000 people converged in cosplay upon downtown Seattle. And there's no rioting. There's no looting. There's not drunk people falling over in the street. Not that there's not drinking or drug use at anime conventions, but it's net. It, like, it is the rare, I go to one almost every weekend all year long, and, uh, you know, twice last year I heard ambulance is called. And when you put 40,000 young people all together in one space, and you've only heard two ambulances in a year, these are good kids, this is good people. There's always dorks or whatever, but I am always encourage parents, I'm like, come, come to the anime convention, see what it's all like, and eventually... Parents are like, oh, I'm going to Chris, Chris Patton's the Chris Patton tells all late night panel. That's gonna be hilarious, you know, whatever it is. They find some anime part that anime is great for that reason too. There's always something for everybody. You're like, there's no way I'd like anime. I'm just into cars, and you're like, initial D. Here you go. <laughs> anime is stupid. I'm a baseball man. You're like, big wind up. There you go. Like, I don't like anime. I just like giant boobies. You're like, what do you mean? You don't like anime. <laughs> Those are the shows I do. I can't watch those. <laughs> Define the laws of physics. <laughs> I know, totally. Any other questions? I don't know how we got on boobies. Oh, I know. Twice. I was just saying, like, doing all the voice acting and interacting with characters uh, for Shin Chan, as funny as it is, as the show is. Oh, thank you for being a Shin Chan. Any other Shin Chan fans out there? Yeah, there's always about three or four of them. <laughs> <laughs> Shin Chan was an amazing show. In, in Japanese, or in Japan, Shin Chan is like their Simpsons. It's been running no. for 25 years. Everybody loves it. Of course, you know what it is. The people who do the voices on Shin Chan are, are you know, famous across the country. And, you know, uh, so it'd be like Bart Simpson walking into the room and doing the Bart Simpson, Bart Simpson voice. So we had high hopes bringing it over to. The United States that it would end up being like that, but because uh, Shin Chan in Japanese was very culturally relevant to exactly what was happening in Japan, you had to rewrite the show completely. And so that that was probably the most fun aspect of it was that nothing was set in stone. And if you had a better idea for a line or a take or a thing that you wanted to do, you got to do it. So it was very improv -y. we were always laughing. Still to this day, Zach, Peter, and I, uh, it's like the thing, Zach was the director, Peter was the engineer. Excuse me, I just burped silently. I think I burped into my lung. Um, did I just say that out loud? But Zach, Peter, and I to this day will walk up to each other and just start, the, well, they do it. I'm not very good at remembering lines. Yeah which is weird as an actor, remembering them after I've had to say them, but they will always quote Shin-Chan to me. It's like a thing. We always 
something, something, cross to bowl or to be a man you must have honor, honor and a penis. And, you know, it's all that sort of stuff. But yeah, Shin Chan was fun. We still have to each other all the time. Do you? What's your favorite quote? Uh, probably that one. Yeah. Okay. Everybody likes that. It's true, and that line wasn't originally that. It was something that I was like, that is truly not what it means to be a man. That's not, not what it is. I said, to be a man, you have to have honor. And Peter, go, Peter the engineer goes, and a penis. And we we're like, you got it. You got it. Honor and penis. You got it. Let's do it. Record one. Go. There was one time in Shin Chan, a uh, hero comes home, and uh, he's not actually st stripping, but he's taking off his, his uh, you know, business clothes, and he's like, ooh, hot for him. And like, the lights change, and there's a pole, and he's like, so hot. And he'd like to have to do the strip tease, and like that. I'm not really a stripper. <laughs> also, I'm embarrassed by stuff like that, so I was able to like get into it as an actor, and then it made me embarrassed to watch, and I don't get embarrassed very easily. And so they were showing it over and over again, me taking off the coat and the tie and pretending I was super hot. And uh, they uh, liked seeing me embarrassed so much that they locked me in the booth and started inviting people in <laughs> to watch me be embarrassed by them watching me strip. And so it was kind of, that was a moment. In the Shinchan booth, I recall. Vividly with terror in my heart. Any other questions? Yes. What was the, um, excuse me, what was the, uh, what's one of the strangest moments you've had, like with a fan or something you've had to sign? Yeah, um, something I've had to sign. Uh, it's the strangest moment with the fan. Vic Mignana and I were on a panel, and this girl at the, towards the end of the panel was like, After the panel, would you touch my glass eye oh yeah remember that one <laughs> and we were like hell yeah and so uh you know after the panel she came down the aisle and everybody oh, was God. around and we were kind of like we were like so we were like she's like yeah because it looks so real and then we were like Oh, we're both screaming like girls, and people are walking in like, why are those grown men poking that girl? <laughs> oh, it's an anime convention. Oh, she, well, she cosplays as a zombie, too, and she'll pop the eye up. Oh, gosh. The, oh, my God. Hole. She'll be like, oh, oh, People are like, God. your makeup is amazing. How did you do it? She was like, riding my bike. Oh, <laughs> And that to me is like the awesomeness of anime cons is like you take the thing that's supposed to make you embarrassed and shy and horribly afraid and, and hide and uh, embarrassed because you're worried people are going to criticize you. And you don't know, you just pop that out, pour some ketchup in it. <laughs> <laughs> like that's my favorite part about this crowd is that nobody has any disability or, or you know, deformity. Everybody, we're all deformed in anime. You know? <laughs> Look, those eyes are way too in the boobs. They just flow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. I was wondering, have you seen Soul Eater um, season two? Soul Eater not? Yeah. Yes. I am in it. Oh, spoiler, Dr. Stein shows up <laughs> in Soul Eater not. True story. It's sort of a prequel or a side call, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> yeah, it's been dubbed. I dubbed it. You don't want to? I dubbed okay. it with my voice and my magic face. <laughs> yes, Chris. How long does it take to dub things? Yeah, uh, typically what they say is 35 to 70 lines per hour. That's what you're expecting. <laughs> Talk! <laughs> Faster! <laughs> you're like, ah! Oh. Um, No, I know the simul dubs where they're, yeah, they're dubbing yeah. while Japan is still dubbing them. Yeah, yeah. that is. Then they're super whipping you. <laughs> yeah. Talking as fast as you can. But it does say something to the professionalism they expect now. Because when we started, it was like, I don't know. Talk or let's go get lunch and keep you on the clock. You know, like it wasn't real. Now they're like, we need to get 35 to 70 lines per hour out of every actor. And so you're, you know, you're like, oh, I, I better be spot on with my takes better not mess things up so it's a little more serious over there now now that anime is famous <laughs> more questions yes um 
whenever you do the voice acting, are you usually like, is it just using like you in the booth doing the voice acting? Yeah. Like, um, how do you, um, you like, I guess, interact with the other characters? Mm -hmm. Like, how do you get the, like, yeah, yeah like, how do you, bounce like, off. yeah, like, bounce off of the characters yeah. when they're not there? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you'll have the other, like, if you record late in the process, so you're in a booth by yourself. Uh, engineer and director outside the booth. You hear three beeps. Where the fourth beep is is where you're supposed to start talking. You have a video screen and a script screen. You can see the line. The director highlights it. They do the preview on the video. And then you get to hear the Japanese. And so you listen to the Japanese, what the character says before, your line, and what's said after. And then, uh, then they'll do a, a recording, a tape. And if the other characters have already recorded, you can hear them in your headset. So you'll get to listen to the character and then react to them. Which is good, because which has a positive, which is you get to feed off of them right there. You use your imagination and pretend you're, like I, my best voice acting always happens when, I, when I'm really losing all this here and I'm just pretending I'm in the screen and reacting to people. But when they haven't recorded first and you have to be the first one to, to lay down the line, you have to kind of imagine what the line would be and imagine what the reaction would be and plug what you think should go in there first, which has a positive, meaning that you get to be the one who dictates. Like if you have a vision for how those three lines are going to go or that scene's going to go, you can kind of dictate with the director how it's going to go. And the other characters have to then fill in after you. So you, like if you want it to be a little more strident or angry, you can take it up a notch if you feel it needs to be. If you want to bring it down, you can bring it down so that you know, there's positives and negatives to both sides. I personally, we haven't done prelay. Prelay is where you're all in the room together, typically, recording all at once, and then they do the animation afterwards. I like that process, too. That's, that's a lot of fun, because then you're really there with the actors. It's always easier with real actors, if they're good. If they're bad, they make it worse. <laughs> much, much worse. A puppet would be better. Um, more questions? <laughs> No, I should go to, oh my goodness, that would be so exciting. <laughs> I wonder if they tell me to stay away from their vital regions. <laughs> yes? I was going to say, I don't know if you answered this already, because we can in late, but how did you get into 